don't sound like it. The star of the show is certainly the Lancaster. I'm just the person that puts her in the right bit of sky. And no one's come to see me display the uh, aircraft. Everyone's come to watch the Lancaster. I think we're like fly past down central London because you don't usually get jets flying down central London. <laughs> The Red Arrow is a very proud day for everybody. The Red Arrow is fly the uh, BA Systems Hawk T1. It's our classic jet trainer. It's been in service uh, since the mid-70s. Right. <laughs> so hard to make sure that the aircraft is in the right place at the right time that it's not really until afterwards that we really recollect what we've just been doing. Buckingham Palace last year, I think I saw it for about three or four seconds. The only bit that I'm ever a little bit concerned about now that I'm the captain is the landing right at the end, the last two feet. It's probably the hardest bit and uh, you're certainly going to get uh, a bit of uh, ribbing from the rest of the crew if you uh, bounce it. It's not until I hand the aircraft safely back over to the engineers do I actually finally uh, relax. City Spider in Hyde Park and the Tower of London. So all of that happening in Green Park and uh, very close nearby we have the crowds who are congregating around the Queen Victoria Memorial at the gates of Buckingham Palace. Smiles from the smiles from the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh and some waves to the vast crowd below and they're joined now by other members of the royal family. Duke of Cambridge and Harris and the Merlin, Duchess of Clyde, Lieutenant Paul Spears, but, uh, Flying Officer Charlie Emerson in the Pumas and Flight Lieutenant Matthew Smythe in the Chinook. Here they come. The RAF's helicopters, of course, providing essential transport for troops and equipment and vital medical emergency aid to NATO forces, including in Afghanistan. In Iraq, as well as uh, Afghanistan, Puma's, uh, Puma 2 is taking part in the flypass for the first time, having been upgraded last year. And the Chinook Hunter, RAF, uh, RAF Memorial Flight, Based at RAF Koningsby, Lincolnshire suffered some problems while in France after D-Day. The engineers, led by Flight Sergeant Dean McAllister, working tirelessly around the clock this week, and that's the result. This great aircraft flying at the Queen's birthday parade with two Spitfires, Flight Lieutenant Tim Dunlop, Squadron Leader Duncan Mason, Flight Lieutenant Anthony Parkinson. As the I-Star transport the Century E3D. Ideas of the RAF, flown by eight squadron right out of RAF Waddington, which can carry over 45 metric tons of freight, troops, other transport, and then the vast Voyager, also from Bryce Norton, specially adapted for a military role, troop transport, bringing from Afghanistan. One of the most heavier, and, and then we have three Titans and three Tornado Giants. skies above central London and Buckingham Palace to the Queen's obvious delight.